Hello, good people, and welcome back to another video. This time we'll be talking about distributive property in algebraic expressions number two. So if you have not watched video number one for this, uh, I just suggest that you go back and take a look at that one first, uh, and then come back to this one where we will be talking about factoring as it relates to the distributive property in algebraic expressions. When we're going to factor in these algebraic expressions, we're coming back, a little blast from the past, to GCF, the greatest common factor. Now, greatest, that's going to stand for largest number, and common is going to stand for the same, and factor is going to be a number that we can multiply to get another number. So when we're finding the GCF, we're finding the largest number that's the same between two different numbers uh, that we can use to multiply it. Let's do, uh, let's do an example. So here's 6 and 12. And when we did our factoring, we talked about the ladder method. So we're going to do that here again. And in the ladder method, we draw this piece under here. And we say, what number can go into 6 and 12? And you might think to yourself, well, 6 could go into both of those. So I try 6 here. 6 goes into 6 one time. 6 goes into 12 two times. Does anything go into these numbers, 1 and 2, that's the same? And the answer is no. So we are done. And 6 is the greatest common factor for those two. Over here, I'm going to say, well, what if I didn't know to start with 6? And I just said to myself, well, they're both even. I could start with 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Is there anything that can go into 3 and 6? Oh, yeah, 3 can. 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 6 two times. And now I'm done. These numbers over here on the side, multiplied together, will give you the GCF, the greatest common factor. And, of course, 2 times 3 is 6, and that's the same as we got over here. So let's move on and see what this looks like in an algebraic expression. Here I have 6 plus 2a. Now I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to factor using that same ladder method. So what number can go into 6 and 2a? Well, 2 could go into both of these, and 2 into 6 would go 3 times. 2 into 2a would go one time with a being left over. Still have that one a. And now I'm done. So the way that I'm going to show this in terms of factoring this expression is I'm going to take the greatest common factor, two, and I'm going to put that outside my parentheses. And what I have left below after I have found the greatest common factor, that is going to go inside my parentheses. 3, and I'll keep that addition symbol, plus 1a. Now you can write 1a, or you can just write simply a. Now, check this out. We're going to now, I can show you by checking and distributing this 2 out here, that this would go back to the original expression. And remember, the original expression, that's the one up here, 6 plus 2a. So watch, I'll distribute this 2, just like in the first video. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times a is 2a, and now I'm right back to the original. Let's do another example. 36a plus 12. 36a plus 12, 36a plus 12. Well, maybe the greatest common factor isn't jumping out to you, but you do see 6. I know 6 would work. 6 goes into 36a 6 times, and I'd still have a. 6 goes into 12 two times. Is there anything that can go into 6a and 2? Well, I could factor out a 2. 2 would go into 6a three times, and I'd still have that 3a. And 2 would go into 2 one time. Remember, to find the greatest common factor, I'm taking those two numbers that are on the outside of my ladder on the left here, and I'm multiplying them. So my GCF is equal to 12. That's going to be on the outside of my parentheses. And on the inside of my parentheses, 
is what is at the very bottom of my ladder. 3a, don't forget that addition symbol, plus 1. One more example. 24 plus 3b. Let's see, what goes into 24 and also 3? Well, lots of things go into 24, but not that much goes into 3. 3 goes into 3. Does 3 go into 24? Yes, it does. So 3 into 24 would go 8 times. 3 into 3b, that's going to go 1 time, and I still have b for 1b. Anything go into 8 and 1? Nope, so I'm done. My greatest common factor is 3. That's going to go on the outside of my parentheses. And on the inside, I'm going to have that 8, my 1b, and again, you can write 1b or just plain old b, and don't forget your addition symbol. So that's it. That's factoring and algebraic expressions. Hope that was helpful. You can watch the video a couple times to, uh, to review, and we'll see you soon.